Tomorrow marks 50 years since Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first people to walk on the moon. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Millions of people track the astronauts throughout their nine-day mission. Now, a website allows you to do the same thing. Apollo in real time is an ambitious project that pulled together audio, video, photos, and transcripts of the entire mission. You can go online now and follow along in real time. And Canadian Ben Feist is the creator of this massive online project. He joins me now in Washington. Hello to you, Ben. Hi, thanks for having me. So this was a huge undertaking. How did it come to be? Well, I uh, came across uh, transcripts uh, years ago that were typewritten and just after the mission, and I, being able to discover on the internet, uh, people forget in the 90s how amazing the internet uh, was back then, that you could, I could, in my hands at my computer at home, I could read the transcripts of what the crew really said, and I was hooked, and I wanted to come up with a way to make the mission come alive again. And you know, I mean, in all honesty, you couldn't have watched it <laughs> because no. you weren't around then. <laughs> uh, you're too young to have actually watched it. But where did all of the interest really come from? What sort of triggered it for you? Well, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I was a shuttle era kid. Um, so, you know, and, and I think I was no more interested than any other kid who's engaged with the world around them. Um, but there's just something special about Apollo. And uh, any time a documentary would come on TV, I'd be interested in it. And then again, finding that material and realizing that this was out there to be pulled together, uh, I just thought, found it to be some of the most compelling content in human history. I, just, I, was, I was addicted. Okay, so let's talk about that content for a moment because uh, my producer was showing me the entire website that you have and you scroll through the audio, the images, the video is incredible. Yeah. <coughs> 1100 well, or 11,000 hours of audio. So <laughs> how long did it take for you to pull all of that together? Well, it, this project took two years to pull together the historical material and to build the web interface that uh, you see there on the website. Um, but it benefited from a previous project. I had a similar idea and built something for Apollo 17, and that's at apollo17.org. Uh, and that project took six years, because so, I didn't really know what I was making at the time, and it was just pulling that stuff together. But uh, then the reaction at NASA was, uh, this is great, uh, thank you for making this. Uh, when are you doing 11? Uh, and I thought, oh my goodness, you know how long it took me to do 17. So. Uh, we knew the anniversary was coming, and uh, so I, was, I started two years ago, and I felt late the whole time I was building it. Um, but I'm glad I managed to get it live for the anniversary so everybody can enjoy it. I've got to ask, Ben, was it a bit of a dream come true when you're just working on Apollo 17, and then you get this call from NASA yeah, saying, absolutely. do Apollo 11? What was that like? Well, uh, they, it was wonderful. They, they invited me to come down to Goddard Space Flight Center uh, here near Washington and uh, give a presentation on all the work I had done on my own. Um, and I thought that'd be a great end to the story, that I could be able to come to NASA and tell people what I did uh, and tell my grandkids one day that I got to go to NASA and present one day. And uh, they offered me to join the team and to kind of continue forward. Uh, because they thought that this data management process, the, the, the thing you actually see on Apollo in real time, might be the type of data management uh, solution that could help with our future missions when we go uh, further into space. So I was I was bowled over that they you know hey do you want to you want to come and help out and I said absolutely I would thank you. Now no question when we're talking about curating all of this content you talked about how long it took you to do that. What about challenges that you may have faced when it came to getting all of that content together? Well, there were many challenges. Uh, this is all analog content, and it's 50 years old, and it's in archives all over the place. Uh, one of the key pieces of content that was difficult was the 11,000 hours of audio that you mentioned. That uh, Those are tapes that have been in the National Archives for 50 years. There was only one machine in the world that could play them back, and it was in Houston, and it was broken. Um, and there was a huge, uh, long effort that I wasn't part of to digitize those tapes. Uh, and then I came up with a way to process them digitally um, to make them snap to mission time so that the old analog wavering tapes uh, became almost like digital files recorded 50 years ago. And this allows you on, on the real-time website to sit in any chair in mission control at any point in the mission. If you want to be the flight dynamics officer, uh, then tune in and sit there and see what that person was doing to work through all the different problems on the mission. And it's just wonderful to be able to bring that uh, material for everybody to enjoy, and the response has been just fantastic. 
Well, Ben, I'm glad you're around to do all of that because I certainly uh, wouldn't have the patience for it all, but I can live through every single moment because of your work. So thank you so much for this and thank you for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. Ben Feist is the Canadian creator of the website Apollo in real time, and it allows you to track the Apollo 11 mission in real time.